Chinese medicine has been using its approach to cancer for about 2,000 years. But today, it's much more advanced than it has ever been because we have modern research. It's not just selecting kinds of plants that might be helpful and then experimenting. Today, we can actually measure how we're doing that. Chinese medicine is, of course, very safe, being used for 2,000 years or, or even more. It really is quite safe, and so we can use these botanicals in a way that actually helps people in a number of ways. Some of them are, are cytotoxic, that is, they, they kill tumor cells. Some of them are supporting the immune system, and still others are actually creating the kind of harmony and balance within the body so that these issues don't arise anymore. A tumor exists not in isolation, but in the body. A tumor needs a blood supply, uh, and it creates it. It's called angiogenesis. The way a tumor creates this blood supply is because of chronic inflammatory factors that are existing in the body, chronic inflammatory factors that are caused by lack of exercise, by stress, by bad diet, uh, by po pollution. All of these things create these chronic inflammatories. W w one could say that cancer is a disease of chronic inflammation. There are specific herbs that reduce that inflammation. There are specific herbs that actually enhance the immune system, which is often defeated in people with cancer. There are herbs that actually uh, uh, stop angiogenesis, stop the blood supply. There are herbs that create what's called apoptosis, that they actually kill the tumor. So these are all in existence, and we have the studies to do that, as well as all kinds of regenerative factors that have to go with it, especially in recovery.